welcome to System Shock 2. In this update, we will explore the remaining cargo bay on this portion of the engineering deck. The first thing that we're gonna do is go all the way back up to command control in order to shut down the security because we're not gonna see another security terminal in quite a while and we're gonna make sure that those turrets will not bother us. Or in my case, you almost start an alarm, but at this point I'm just like, I might as well just try and make things more interesting. So we can finally attempt the other cargo bay now that we have the keycard in order to open it. We had to go through protocol droid hell in order to get this card, but it was worth it. Yeah, unfortunately there are some replicators on the ship which are plain broken, and you need a repair skill of 3 in order to be able to fix them. And if you're like me, that means that whenever a replicator is broken, you will never be able to fix it. But yeah, you can see how adrenaline is already really helping us out in killing those turrets faster. No need to cut out any kind of the wrenching that we did in the past. Well, we can't get the malfunctioning turrets offline, and now Xerxes isn't even talking to us. Pollard thought of a workaround. By running bypass into central control, we can hack into the turrets locally and take control of them. However, that means walking right up to the little sons of bitches and hoping they don't go off. One thing is sure, I'm going to figure out what the hell happened here. So once again, thank you Sergeant Bronson for making my job a whole lot harder. And yeah, Cargo Bay 2 is the part of the ship where there's a whole lot of things that cease to work for absolutely no reason. In this deck you will see a whole lot of elevators that flat out refuse to work anymore. Also, while I talked about the ambience that the game does into the previous video where we were into Cargo Bay 1, I think in this one instance of the level, the ambience is even more gripping because you really have the feeling that you're alone against everything. And while you're busy doing all of your business, you hear all of those hybrids groaning in the background. Wow, that felt timely. <laughs> It might only be one hybrid, but we might as well not take any kind of chances. We gotta make sure that we can wrench him instantly. So yeah, if adrenaline overproduction is starting to sound really interesting to you, just wait until we get further in the game and get an even higher psionic ability, because this ability will get even more magnificent once that you'll be able to see what kind of things it can do for you. So here's the broken elevator of earlier. Yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna risk my step on this elevator, might as well take the nanites the safe route. Because, as you might have guessed with this elevator, yeah, you're in for a 3 story fall, which will pretty much be an instant death, unless that you're playing on easy and happen to have maybe a couple of points of endurance, yeah, it's that little. But hey, at least in this part of the ship there was no protocol droids like into the other one. But there was a sign at the entrance of this cargo bay which said that there was some traffic of maintenance bot. And I'm starting to be a little bit paranoid because we have yet to see any single one of them. And we get another surgical activation key, which is always nice considering how rare they are and how helpful they are in keeping you healthy. Usually what I do is, I keep two of them and then the moment that I stumble on a surgical unit which needs completion, and that pretty much means every single one of them because apart from the medical section I don't think there's any single table which is in order, but yeah, all in all these can save you a whole lot of med eyeballs. Oh great, now the corpse is doing grunt noises because I'm currently burning it with my pyro feet. Why do you have to destroy the suspension of disbelief, Pyrofield? You're a good ability, but holy shit, you are really wacky when you want to. But what I don't like about this section of the ship is that while I think the ambience is better, mainly because there's no music and the silence feels even more deafening, it's just a whole lot easier than the other cargo bay. I mean, we, had, we didn't really have to face anything significant so far. Oh 
Okay, things are about to change because I can hear a maintenance bot around the area, so I'm gonna have to prep myself up for it. But first, let's deal with our buddy the turret right here, just to make sure that it doesn't reactivate into our face later. <laughs> Alright, this is starting to be a drill by now. I mean, this is pretty much the third time that I had to do this, so... Okay, it really is easy whenever they're backing away from you. Sometimes when you run toward them, they will run away from you, so that's a battle tactic that you can use against them. Alright, now that the maintenance bot is gone, I might as well go back in order to check out the rest of the cargo bay from earlier, because... I kinda was in a hurry to make sure that it was dead before I will do anything. I don't want to hear his computer chattering all over the place. Oh my god, there's another one. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to deal with him later, but first of all, I'm just gonna finish my church of it, more so considering that there doesn't seem to be any kind of enemies into this section of the ship, so why not just go for it? I really feel as if that the game is taunting me by throwing all of these armor-piercing bullets. The game is aware that I don't know how to use a gun, and it's clearly laughing at me for doing so. You should have done that, because by doing so, you will have made mincemeat out of those robots. But guess what? I don't need a pistol in order to take care of these. I need to take care of those robots the mechanical way. And the way you operate on machine is by whacking them to death with a wrench. Adrenaline activated. Uh, what are you trying to do exactly? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm following on your battle plan, droid. I guess this is why you're a maintenance bot and not an assault bot. Okay, so I guess that there was some traffic in here after all. I mean, this is the second robot that we had to deal with. In some ways, the many is not unlike the UNN. There's a joy in working towards a collective goal, and being able to put aside the things that draw us apart and make us separate. Why do we fear the loss of our individuality so much? Man can dream, but the many can accomplish. As opposed to the first log of Diego that we found onto this portion of the ship, he didn't really come to his senses yet. Constance, I fear now for my Security life. System I online. think this has gone beyond any imaginings of Diego and Korenchkin. I do not believe they are in control at all. We must discover what it was they found down on the surface of Tau 75 and why they guard the secret so jealously. I think this is more important than my life, or your life, or the life of this ship. Be brave and be careful. So yeah, didn't Diego say earlier that he will not let Courage can manipulate him? Well, that didn't hold for long. Wait, what was that noise? Oh god, that was the noise! So yeah, as you might have guessed, those buttons are not decorative. When it says that maintenance has been notified, it's not a joke. If you push these buttons, you will be attacked by maintenance bots like this one. So we're gonna send them to the scrap heap! Ah, I need to switch to cryokinesis! Okay... Yeah, even though you might get the hang of fighting these robots at some point, it's never a routine. Oh no, did I really hear that again? Oh my god, fuck me. They really weren't lying when they said that this was a high traffic place for maintenance robots. There's a million of them out there. Now, if you have a gun or some bullets, or you have a lot of psi points to spare, you could just use your ammo or cryokinesis through this hole in the roof, and you'd be able to kill the robot without him attacking you at all. But, 
I don't really want to waste any of these things right now, so it's time for round number four. By this point, I'm just a savant at doing all of these things. Okay, I'm a savant until the part where you have to back away in order to not explode with the robot. And we have a brand new gun, but unfortunately it's broken and it cannot be used. It's a laser pistol, we'll find one in working order later. Below is dead. I was just talking to him and this cyborg came up behind him and... Okay, Connie, get a grip. Get a grip. I've recoded the door lock and engineering control to 15061. I think I'll be safe in here. Yeah, I'll be safe in here. Alright, we found what we needed. We now have the passcode in order to go to the engineering fluidic control, which will allow us to remove all of the radiations into the coolant tunnels. And there we go, our job here is done. And we also got a friendship Stein device out in the process. This item allows you to freely modify a weapon. Okay, there are some jerks here, so might as well take care of them. Each gun in the game can be modified up to two times, and modifications will raise damage as well- Oh, where did you come from? That was not pleasant. But all weapon modifications will increase the damage that your guns do, and it will also have some other side effects, such as decreasing the time it takes to reload the gun, it will increase the ammo clip, reduce the kickback that it does when it shoots, the speed of the projectiles, and many other things. Each gun has its own specifics and it follows this structure very rigidly. And here we go, we are done with the cargo bay. The time has come to finish the engineering deck, but we will do so in the next video.